bitch, I don't even think top And then she break, she gon' break on rock Feels like right, she do my hits all the mops Fool a little bitch, she a walker for rock Yeah, Antonio Leach was a rising DMV area rapper who went by the street name OG Man Man. Man Man was a DC native who was trending on social media for dissing his opposition. He had stated in the interview that he was going to take this rap shit more serious and stop dissing the ops. He also stated in the interview that him dissing the ops was only revenge and was insisting he wasn't the aggressor, he was actually the reactor. Man Man had heat on his back after dropping a highly disrespectful song where he was dissing a fellow rival's dead homie. He even went to where the fellow rival had been killed and filmed his diss video live on direct, then posted the video to YouTube. Immediately after he posted the video Truth, the Ops wanted his life for taunting their dead homie. Immediately after posting the video Truth, he received multiple death threats from fans as well. The situation behind OG Man Man, the op dead homie C Diddy, and a few other members got really ugly, which led to OG Man Man's death. Man Man and Big Flock were cool with each other. Big Flock was one of the most popular rappers in the DMV area. Big Flock is from Suitland, Maryland, a suburban city 10 minutes from DC. And OG Man Man is from Southeast DC, the most dangerous section of the city. At the time, OG Man Man was incarcerated on drug related charges and Big Flock had the streets hot and he did an interview with Cutthroat TV, a fellow YouTuber. Here's Big Flock where he's doing an interview with Cutthroat TV and as you can see, he's chilling with his guys. Flock just came from, I don't even know where that shit came from, it just came out the cut, but Drock and Drock, you know what I'm saying, that shit came from the season. I just had like playing with them again. Good question, good question. Tell us about the upcoming projects you got for me. I got a uh, Sucker Free coming out, I got a uh, Dead Homie Dot Bet 2, Chill Illuminati 2, Sunny 2, a uh, uh, mixtape with my handle dude called Big Dude, a uh, mixtape with Mac Dre called Blocks and Max. Uh, my shit working though, I got a rag and shit coming out. Good question. How did you get mad? During the interview with Big Flop, he spoke of his goals, his rap career, and the upcoming goals of his new projects. However, Big Flop learned some things about Man Man while he was locked up 
and began calling and addressing him as a snitch. OG Man Man found out he was calling him a snitch in the streets, so he vowed to take homie up on his words and test for them gangster. As time goes by, an OG Man Man is released from prison and gets back with his clique on the southeast side of DC. OG Man Man hits the studio and declares war against Big Flock for labeling him a snitch. Man Man decides to make a diss song targeting Big Flock's dead homie. Man Man drops a diss song in which he burns a pick and pours Ace of Spade on the gravesite of one of Big Fly's dead homies, C. Diddy. I'm a fucking grave digger, throw his oh, ass off a bridge like they did C. Diddy. We're getting new details about the Hampton University student who fell to his death early this morning. Investigators still piecing together what happened in Richmond. Here's Marissa Jasek. Police say a Hampton University student fell to his death in Richmond early Friday morning. The body of 19-year-old Christopher Smith was found around 2.30 below the I-64 eastbound Shaco Valley Bridge. You a PG nigga, I'm a Southeast nigga I'm really in the streets, you the type to tweet niggas When you was beef with Glizzy, yeah, you called me nigga What I do, I pulled up with a chopper and a 50 You a pussy nigga, you was scared to get busy You said kill you, now I'm I'ma leave this bitch empty Nigga, we ain't friends, cause you always been the enemy Cause we riding in my BMW Diddy, Christopher Smith Bowie of Maryland, was riding with some friends when an altercation erupts and C. Diddy jumps off the car, then jumps off the bridge, falling to his death. However, the city went back and forth on questioning whether he jumped, fell, or was purposely pushed or thrown off the bridge. C. Diddy was good friends with Big Flop. Big Flop was traumatized by the passing of C. Diddy. Also new at 11, a Hampton University student died after falling from an I-64 bridge in Richmond this morning. State police say 19-year-old Christopher A. Smith fell from the Shaco Valley Bridge. They say he was riding in a car and got into an argument with other passengers. The car stopped and he got out and fell over the side. Smith is from Bowie, Maryland. Police are now looking for that car. OG Man Man realized he could exploit his death site and his name as payback for the snitch tag that Big Flock had brought on his name. After Man Man dropped that diss, Big Flock dropped the truth. It was Get Back Gang diss and a remix to the original track, Truth. First off, I like to side off the myself. The next few things will make a nigga upset. See, I ain't fed true, but have respect for my tech. Then had to try money, couldn't write a fake check. Now I'm going to wipe the bitch trick and all she suspect. She used to watch me count her up and real with finesse. And I know it hurts her heart to lay down with homegirls. And that old big block government is tatted on her. 
tryna sign me cause I have bars, nigga And I been had 30s hanging out of cars, nigga Now I like Big Macs and folding ARs, nigga Tonight I'm wearing my Hugo stacks and my G-Star bitch Big money been talking in them five feet, little Gotta have banana clips, certified gold ripper Is the other guy just a no-name nigga? Just some white tee, baggy jeans, be fitted, lame nigga Think I'm a... It depends. I might do it and I might not. I might just be in the streets where I always be at. I don't know. It, it depends. I'm from South. Everybody know I'm from South City. You see this? Can't too many people come in. Nobody can't come in. Them niggas know where I'm from. Everybody know where I'm from. I ain't no secret. Anybody go against that, they know what's gonna happen behind that shit. No question. These are not props, but it can't get real. What <laughs> <laughs> you wearing? What you copying at the ball? During the interview, OG Man Man was ganging about the street ties and street credit with Fulnil. He even talked about Giuseppe's shoes, which are about 1500 to 2 k a pop. stated that he wasn't a rapper and insisted he just created that song out of revenge and retaliation but realized his talent and he may even consider becoming a rapper the night nice C Diddy had fallen to his death many had speculated that he did not jump to his death but rather he was either thrown off or pushed off. The car took off traveling north past the bridge of which the direction they were headed. Many want to know who was in the car. The night C. Diddy fell to his death, many went looking for the drivers in the vehicle but were unsuccessful. Soon after he made that diss, OG Man Man was gunned down at a cookout held at an apartment complex in the southeast. Blood, I'm not a real rapper, I'm a real lie hitter. Shoot a oh. down and throw the baddie in the river. I'm not a real rapper. It was one year ago today, a DC rapper was gunned down at a cookout in a southeast apartment complex. The murder was carried out just weeks after Antonio Leach released this controversial few video. It is a video his parents and now the police say may have led to his death. Paul Wagner has more on this Fox 5 exclusive. Have you ever met a killer? Don't answer that. The video posted to YouTube in April of last year shows Antonio Leach in a Halloween mask holding pistols with extended clips. Rapping as OG Man Man, Leach is recorded at the gravesite of a rival's dead friend setting a photograph on fire and threatening violence in an ongoing feud. A video some believe went too far. This is real hard. This is hard. Every day I think of myself. Every day. Lucia Leach and Anthony Jones are Antonio's parents. They knew about the video and worried it would lead to trouble. I was afraid, but I let him knew I was afraid. And then that's when he promised me that well, I'm going to stop because they had started to be, started going back and forth first. They started. Leach's parents say the feud began when Antonio's rival called him a snitch. Talking about I'm snitching. I think because of what he felt, because they saying he was a snitch, he felt threatened even by the general public. And I think that he felt in his heart that he had to retaliate that way. D.C. police were back in the neighborhood today handing out flyers, hoping to generate new leads in the case. The night he was killed, Antonio Leach had just gotten a phone call from someone asking him to come over here to a cookout that was taking place behind these apartments on F Street Southeast. There were a number of people here, but it's unclear exactly how many, when suddenly someone approached with a handgun, opened fire, hitting him multiple times. Yeah. He knew he was on the phone, 
um, uh, left back out when we reached for the door. I said, well, son, where are you going? He said, Dad, I'll be right back in a minute. A year after the murder, detectives have been so far unable to develop any suspects. An area of the city where Antonio Leach's parents know the code of the streets is strong. The people is afraid to tell anything because they end up not having a way to go and or the person might come after them. But Lucia Leach is begging for help. She wants justice for her son. It would mean a whole lot. It it help my heart, and my mind, and my soul to know that somebody is out here that really care for us. On YouTube, what's known as OG Man Man's diss video has been viewed more than 1.7 million times. For the person who can tip the police, there's a $25,000 reward on the table. Paul Wagner, Fox 5 Local News. Even the hardest gangster must live by. That's no snitching. Do not cross that line. Oh, come now. That snitch tag shit can destroy a person's image. You feel me? And OG Man Man didn't take time to being labeled a snitch. OG Man Man stated, Look. I ain't no rapper, I just saw something that I need to speak on, on the phone now. He also stated, this ain't a game, you playing with my life, my family life, my gangster status in the streets, you can't call a real nigga a snitch. He also stated, I screwed his girl, and now he wanna label me a rat? For real niggas know I ain't no snitch. OG Man Man also stated, you better be ready to pop out. You better be ready to hold that same energy when you label me a rat. OG Man Man sleeps with Big Flock's girlfriend. Big Flock and Man Man used to be friends. OG Man Man and Big Flock started beefing about the situation. OG Man Man is arrested on felony drug charges and is sent to prison. While serving his sentence, Big Flock has been calling OG Man Man a snitch. OG Man Man didn't take time to being called a snitch 
and was planning revenge upon his release. Time has passed and OG Man Man is released from jail. He gets up with Big Flock on social media between OG Gang, Simple City, and Flock Team. OG Man Man decided to get payback by dissing Chris who was Strat's gang, who died as a result of falling off the bridge. Man Man decides to go to that bridge and film a disrespectful video as payback for their gang for calling him a snitch. First off, nigga, let me load my pistol. Flock sneak, this my don't want no issue. Keep playing, nigga, I swear to God they gon' miss you. Once I get the spray, I swear to God I'm gon' hit you. Nigga, you a bitch, that's why I can't fuck with you. Keep taking pics, but those not your pistols. Ask yourself, nigga, have you ever met a killer? Don't answer that, niggas know my trigger finger itching. I know why you mad, cause I'm fucking your bitch. Bitches. Stop playing with me, nigga, talking about I'm snitching. Rest in peace to Lil' Chris. Yeah, I know they fucking miss him. Don't trip his whole squad going lay there with him. I'm not a real rapper, I'm a real lie hitter. Shoot a nigga ass down and throw the baddie in the river. I'm not a real rapper, I'm a fucking grave digger. Throw his ass off a bridge like they did see Freaking. After dropping that diss song, the Yop set out to get up with Man Man for that diss track. Man Man is sitting on his phone when a friend invites him to a cookout in the apartment building where he hung at daily. Man Man agrees to go and is having himself a good time. As Man Man is talking with a friend, someone runs up with a mask on and shoots Antonio multiple times. As bullets rang out, people began to run away from the gunshots. People soon realize Man Man is dying when he isn't responding. Ambulance and emergency physicians are unable to save him. He passes away from the incident soon after. Antonio Leach dies at the young age of 23. He was shot on the 4400 block of F Street in Southeast Benning Heights, Simple City. <laughs>